Hey everyone, today I will be reviewing the Innisfree sunblock, so let's get started. So this is the sunblock that I am referring to. It is the Innisfree Eco Safety UV Perfect Sunblock with sunflower oil and green tea, long lasting SPF 50 PA++++, and it has a uh, five free, meaning it's free of five ingredients. So first it is free from mineral oil, animal ingredients, synthetic fragrance, tar color, and talc, and it is 50 milliliters, and I purchased it at, a, at an Anise Free store for I think 100 RMB, but on the website, I think it's listed for $10. I will leave the website down below. Now, to the claims of the product, I will be referring to a piece of paper. So it claims that it is moisturizing and long-lasting. It is eco-certified, uh, it has organic sunflower oil that protects the skin from UV rays. It is eco-friendly. It has green tea extracts. Uh, you can use it for outdoor activities with strong control over sweat and sebum. And it has fermented yeast ingredients that protect the skin from the ozone. Now, in regards to it being moisturizing, I do find that it is moisturizing. I have dry skin and sensitive skin. I do think it moisturizes the skin. I don't think that it irritates my skin at all. Um, it doesn't leave it itching or like red. Um, also, um, in terms of it being long lasting, I mean, I really can say, especially if I wear it under makeup, um, but if I use it alone, I think it lasts a good uh, amount of hours, probably like six hours, and then maybe just I reapply it. Um, also, uh, Having control over sweat or sebum, I actually don't think it makes me oily at all. Um, usually sunblock has like a film and it really makes the skin look oily or feel oily. This does not make me feel oily. Um, it doesn't leave a white cast or white um, film. It blends into the skin very nicely. And uh, you use it um, at the end of your skincare. And um, I will show you how it looks. So I just pump about a pea size amount onto each side of my face. So about this amount here, this amount here, and I split the forehead and chin with the same amount. And I just blend it in using my fingers. I kind of just rub it in. And at the end, I just pat it in a bit. And it doesn't feel oily. It kind of has a cooling effect and it smells like like green tea. It smells really good. Um, I would really recommend this sunblock. I think it does a fantastic job at, you know, protect, providing um, uh, protection from the sun. Um, I think really that um, it's good for sensitive skin and it is moisturizing yet doesn't leave you feeling oily or leaving a residue or film on your skin. Before this one, I was using this Neutrogena one, and I did not like it. Um, it left my skin feeling like itchy and red, or maybe not looking red, but I felt like I was red. And it just left my skin um, also looking quite oily. Um, this one doesn't do that. I have used another uh, Innisfree sunblock, the one that, I think it says like milky consistency, and I didn't like it. I thought that it was really like oily and, uh, was like um, it felt like oil a little bit too slick um, so in regards to this I would repurchase it and I will repurchase it I think that um, it's quite inexpensive for 50 milliliters considering it's um, it doesn't contain a lot of harsh ingredients um, and yeah I think it sits nicely under makeup and on itself and I hope you enjoy this review and thank you for watching. Bye.